I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Network. Well, we're going to talk about Dave Chappelle. As we know, Dave Chappelle has been under attack for, what, maybe two years after he released two of the greatest stand-ups anybody's ever seen, and that's saying a lot because it's Dave Chappelle, and he's had so much great work. Uh, there was a time when my favorite show was The Chappelle Show. I mean, it pushed the envelope, and it was uh, it was fantastic. Now, I certainly don't align politically with a lot of what Dave Chappelle believes, but I don't believe in cancel culture either. And Dave Chappelle made the mistake of bringing out the issue of transgenders. And, of course, he was labeled transphobic. The woke Twitter mob absolutely tried to cancel Dave. Hollywood tried to cancel Dave. The activists were getting shows of his canceled at, at, at venues. Now, he would move the shows to somewhere else in a town, and they would, I mean, his shows were selling out in 45 minutes. So, um, it's clear, Dave Chappelle has not been hurt from a business standpoint at all for standing up with his right to say what he wants to. Now, that used to be a thing in, in stand-up comedy and in comedy, that you could go out there, and the whole point was, I'm going to talk shit about everybody, and it's funny. It is funny. Uh, so, enter this. He's going. He's he's supposed to be on hosting Saturday Night Live. Now, generally, when he hosts, man, it's really good. It is. And I haven't watched Saturday Night Live in a, a very long time. But generally speaking, when Dave goes on there, I will watch because I'm pretty much going to watch anything that he's in. And uh, so, of course, because of the transphobic issue. And all that backlash, we know SNL is full of woke leftist activist writers, comedy writers. And what are they now talking about doing, wanting to do? Boycott the show over Dave Chappelle hosting. I say, personally speaking, you know, these are the very writers that have been, you know, pushing and sauntering Alec Baldwin up there to make fun of Trump for six years now. So just give Dave Chappelle a mic and get the hell out of the way. He'll do all the heavy lifting, I promise. He's pro probably more talented than anybody on that show all put together. I mean, he is the GOAT. Let's get to this. This is the Daily Wire. SNL writers could boycott show over Dave Chappelle hosting gig. Some of the writers behind NBC's long-running sketch comedy show, Saturday Night Live may be planning to boycott the next show because comedian Dave Chappelle has been tapped to host. <laughs> Good riddance. According to a report from Page Six, some of the writers were angry that producers asked Chappelle, who has been accused of telling transphobic and homophobic jokes in a number of his stand-up comedy specials, to host the November 12th broadcast. They opted to bow out. Quote, they're not going to do the show, an insider reportedly informed page six of the writers, but none of the actors are boycotting. SNL prompted some backlash on Twitter when Chappelle's appearance was first announced last week. Next week's show, November 12th, Dave Chappelle and Blackstar. Blackstar's coming back together. One critic pointed out the fact that people were so incensed by Chappelle's appearance that no one was reacting to the fact that hip-hop group Black Star was going to perform for the first time in a decade. Quote, Chappelle's reputation is so god-awful, nobody cares that Black Star is reuniting. Laugh my ass off. One of the most beloved supergroups in hip-hop performing after an 11-year-long hiatus and people not noticing because other, the other guy on stage has just been talking so much shit about trans people. Laugh out loud. Sure, people notice Black Star's coming on there. Don't kid yourself. Don't kid yourself. Don't take that much credit, woke Twitter. SNL's latest putrid attempt to pander to the edgelords amidst flailing ratings and a beyond vile reputation can't keep your cast members are right, are right a single funny punchline, so you resort to platforming stale transphobes. The rot run deep. What a bunch of losers, complained the Daily Beast critic Coleman Spelled. Well, come on now. They do have flailing ratings, absolutely. But one could certainly argue 
that the show takes a notable step upward with Dave Chappelle performing on it, okay? The talent level just skyrocketed the moment he came on set. Once news broke that some of the writers might boycott the show, however, the Hills Media and political columnist Fox News contributor Joe Concha argued that their loss could potentially be the audience's gain. Absolutely. Those writers are absolutely terrible. They are terrible. If they boycott the show, the, I suspect the show's quality is going to skyrocket, frankly. I truly do. If the great Dave Chappelle is hosting, me thinks any assistance from some of the worst writers in comedy won't be needed. Just hand the keys to Dave and get out of the way. I agree, Joe Concha. Absolutely. Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton appeared to agree with Concha. Quote, SNL more likely to be funny as the staff writer stage boycott over appearance, and this is what's funny, over an appearance of a black comedian. Wow, our wokeness only goes so far, I see. Fire the writers. Have Chappelle do an hour of stand-up. Absolutely. That thing will have 10 million people watching. Problem solved. The first producer, Nick Rizzuto, said, I could not agree more. I could not agree more. Now that I know Dave Chappelle is going to be on there tomorrow night, I'm going to make it a priority to watch. Absolutely. I have not watched SNL since probably the last time he hosted. And that's been a while. Wow. I mean, it, it's hilarious. But Dave Chappelle's right. This alphabet community is more protected than any other group out there. It's amazing. All these social justice, justice efforts. But... But we yank all that. All that goes out the window. Well, when you start talking about the alphabet community, oh, nobody rages like that community does. And you know what I love? Dave Chappelle made a statement in his last, and it wasn't even a stand-up. He was like receiving some kind of award at a college or something. It's on Netflix. It's the last thing he put out. But he made a point to say, the fact that I know that this bothers some people so much means that it is imperative that I continue to do it and I turn it up a notch. And I thought it was great wording. It is imperative that I turn it up a notch. Bravo. Bravo. I don't believe in cancel culture in any way. Okay, I don't agree with a lot of the shit that Kyrie Irving's done, but he should be playing in the NBA with the Nets right now. Okay, plain and simple. He should be, I mean, it's just, cancel culture is ridiculous. It has ruined so much in entertainment. So many, so many talented people like James Woods don't get to work anymore. I mean, it's, it's pathetic. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fan. Um, oh, there we go. I did it. Tell me what you think, black and white network supporters. Uh, I'm a little distracted because my cats have went to war during this video. It is what it is. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.